Did you see this lovely, lovely piece of news where a group of poachers uh, were hunted down and eaten oh. by a pride of lions while they were out oh. rhino poaching yesterday? I did not. Please tell me everything. <laughs> These are my favorite news yeah. stories. Honestly. Yeah. It's the best. It's the and the, the the thing about that news story is they're like officials are investigating. It's like why, why, what are we investigating? <laughs> they're all yeah, gone. What's... There was like right. a pelvis. I don't know. Kyle will probably find it in a minute. There was like oh, a pelvis God. and a femur left, and everything else was gone. Heads were gone. Arms were gone. Cavities of bodies were Circle gone. Circle of life, baby. Yeah. Circle you know, of life. You're going to go do some rhino poaching. I hope you get eaten. I do. And so I don't they, feel sorry so for you. They must have found like some AR 15s or something like nearby, some blood to, to know that they were poachers, I would think, right? I think so. I'm hoping Kyle will pull up the pictures here in a second and we can break them down. I'm sure he's furiously struggling to find this because I gave him no forewarning. Well, he doesn't um, know how to use commas when he searches Google. So, <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, I think there was, you know, some hats, some guns. Uh, they were in a rhino sanctuary. So that tells you a lot. Oh, and Jesus, uh, okay. oh, my God. And yeah, some... there was no poachers left. That's some shit. Dude, mate. it's it's do you know what country that was in Forrest? Uh, no, Kyle is saying he can't find it. I'll see who emailed it to me. I don't, I don't remember what country it was in. I just saw the headline and was very happy about it. Um, I think it's interesting because uh, I, I genuinely, I have a weird thing where I, even if someone's a bad person, when I know that like violence has been com like committed on a, on a person, I, I have a weird thing where I'll feel bad for them, even if they're awful. Sure. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. like reading about like how Whitey Bulger, who killed tons of people, got beaten to death when he was in his wheelchair with padlocks inside a sock. And, and, Jeez, and he feels, felt bad I feel him. bad. I, yeah, I, I just, it's a human being being defiled in a disgusting way. But when it's poachers, I don't, I'm happy. It's great. I'm yeah. cheering yeah. for the lion. Yeah, it, it definitely has to do with their, the crime, I feel like, because the, the Whitey Bulger thing, I feel like it's more disconnected. Like when people kill and they're like hitmen in the mob or something, it's, literally like not as bad as somebody who kills their wife for some yes, reason. I, you know course. what I mean? Yeah. It is of course, but like the connection you want the, the wife killer to be the one that gets the lock to the face kind of thing. Yes, you know? I agree. Yeah. Yep. Well, that's why 100%. in movies we we're willing to root for the hero of a movie. Who's a killer because sure. they're only killing bad guys. Right. That's right. why yeah. we want John wick to kill yep. as many people as possible because yep. he never yep. kills a good Samaritan. He's yep. always yep. killing other killers. <laughs> it's true. And, and Dexter's like your hero. Like if you watch yeah, Dexter, right. he's like a, he's like a psychopathic cold blooded murderer. And you're like, Oh, I love this guy. He's great. Uh, that shows yeah. genius for that reason alone. Dude. For that it's reason. Very cathartic yep. watching it. Yep. I they like did a, a good thing with that show where they, it was a, a great concept, but they really, it was, it was easy. It didn't make you work. It was dumbed down. Like nobody would say that's sure. the smartest show ever on TV. Yeah. Right. But it was just like a fun concept that was set up for a mass audience to enjoy as opposed to like The Wire, which like feels like doing homework. For oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, dude, and with Dexter, it, again, it's like cathartic to watch it because you get that vindication. The whole show is just getting vindication. Like a bad person gets killed and you're like, yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's why it works. It, so it for us, also, what do you it was. Oh, sorry. Go, go ahead. ahead. I was just going to say last thing on Dexter. It was nice to be led there too. It never left you guessing. You're like, Oh, Dexter's definitely going to go kill that guy. And then, <laughs> yeah, exactly. and then he did. And you're like, Oh weird. He never left any fingerprints or blood drops. Oh, well that's good. He's really <laughs> meticulous because he's got OCD and like, that's yeah, it. Right. You're just like accepting <laughs> right. of that and moving on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what do you think this pride of lions was like, how does it happen that a group of a small group of humans ends up being stalked and killed by a, a group of lions? I mean, if there are these parks like where we shot um, the uh, the Cape Lion episode and stuff, where you simply cannot make it three miles if you're walking around at sunset or sunrise or after dark, you just won't. There's just too many lions, and especially in game wow. parks and things where they have a shit ton of lions um and yeah i mean you just it's funny it's like so i always laugh about the whole like oh australia is the deadliest country in the world it's like no no there's nowhere in australia where you can't walk 500 yards without being eaten you know there's a <laughs> yeah. lot of places in africa <laughs> right, where you right, cannot right. walk 500 yards without being eaten by something Dude, that's wild man 
yeah. it makes me kind of feel good though that like you know we we haven't completely fucked nature we can still we can even though we're the apex but it is interesting that they got taken out even though they probably all had powerful like automatic weapons right so they must have just like gotten ambushed or something yeah paint a picture yeah. for what might have happened so i don't know how many let's see so da, da, i da, imagine da, 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 da. yeah does Wait, it say how, how many, many what did that say kyle three or four they think it was three people uh it says the bloodied heads and limbs of at least two poachers who broke into hunt rhinos blah 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 subuya game reserve in south africa um yeah so yeah. they think it was two or three so let's right. say it's three guys with ar-15s yep they're in there at night trying to you know stay away from the guards they want to kill some rhinos to you know send those horns we all know where they're going and yep. for what reason dick pills um <laughs> yeah fucking ridiculous three guys what are the lions doing how do they ambush three guys with ar-15s Okay, so it's 4.30 a.m. The poachers are cruising into the park. They're jumping over the fences, whatever, cruising into the park to look for the rhinos. Keep in mind, these are parks, like, substantially bigger than Yellowstone, right? These are big, big parks in that part of the world. They're not, like, a community park. And sure. so there's a lot of space. They're walking. They're tracking. They probably, one of two things happened. They either probably came into a pride where they just walk tracking the, the rhino, they walked right in. The, the lions were in the long grass, and in that low light, they just bam, 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 just picked them off very, very quickly. And it did say in the article that they heard a commotion and they went to investigate. So I'm sur sure some shots were fired. Okay. But I would guess more likely, when you're tracking, especially over time, usually what you do is you, you walk for a while, and then you sit down and wait and listen quietly, and then you get up and walk for a while, you know, and you sort of, you do it very slowly and meticulously. They were probably resting. They probably had their guns up against the trees or something, mm. and they were sitting, you know, all sitting in a circle, eating or talking quietly. Not or smart. Something. And that's <laughs> that. But that's the thing, too. You, people, people, you don't, you forget about it living in America, right? Like four people a year die from mountain lions or whatever. But Never in knew Africa, it. right. Never but in Africa, knew it living in America, right. But in, in Southern Africa, it doesn't matter if you're one-on-one -on -one facing a lion and you have an AR-15, sure, you're going to mow it down. But if you're walking, looking for something, a big cat will sneak up on you and pounce you long before you're able to draw your weapon. You know, you don't see them coming. You don't hear them coming. You don't know they're behind you. This is what they do for a living. This is how it's they crazy. catch yeah. things that are much, much, much smarter or smart is the wrong word, much more aware and cautious and observant than you are, like Impala and Kudu and Eland and all these big antelope that are constantly in panic mode because things are right. trying to eat them. <laughs> right. Meanwhile, you're like, -da -da, I'm going for a walk. And then boom, you know, like it's- You they, think you got your gun and yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's interesting because, you know, I'll watch just my house cat stalk a cockroach. Yeah. You know, and it's infuriating. Because I'm just sitting there, I'm like, stop wiggling your fucking butt and just kill that thing. It's right there. <laughs> and, she, and she'll wait, dude, 15 minutes, 18 minutes, and, and, and still, little butt wiggle, but waits until the thing comes towards her, and then boom, dead. Yep. And that's it, that's like, where it's fascinating to let, watch. Let me ask hunt. a question. I got a quick question about the, the rhino poaching. How the hell were they going to get a rhino out of there? Like, I, what do they, they don't want to get the rhino out? The horn? Just the horn, baby. The horn off. Yeah, oh my god, do. that is that's, like the, I'm so I'm even more happy that they got fucking mauled to death. What a way to go, too. I hope it was very terrible. Here's the part that's insane, dude. Jesus, hundred thousand per kilo on those rhino for horns, the rhino man. horn. It is yeah. fuck off. And the here, chemistry a of what the horn is made of is widely available on our fingertips. Correct. Chemically, exactly it is the same, the same ingredient. But yep. it has been marketed wow. as something that will enhance your libido, erection, and uh, stamina. Oh, my yep. God. Even though you could just fucking eat your nails. Yep. Yeah. Just Same crush thing. it into Compressed a powder. Air. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Yep. I had same no idea that it was the same as fingernails. That oh, is, yeah. That's all it all. Or you is. could eat a ball of your own hair. And yep. there's plenty of keratin in there, too. Same thing. Same exact thing. And, <laughs> yeah. and to make it even worse, Peter... These fucking poachers, what they do, and this is a real thing. I'm not just saying this for, for sympathy here. They mm -hmm. will track a rhino 
And if they find a, a juvenile or a rhino that's already had it been dehorned because game parks will cut the horns off to stop poachers from tracking them, they'll shoot yeah. it and kill it so that they don't make the mistake of tracking that rhino again because they only want ones with horns. So if they track a rhino for two days, <sighs> find one that's been dehorned, they'll shoot it and kill it so that they don't run into that problem again next time. That's fucking unbelievable. But I mean, I you know, you're telling me that right now, but I still don't feel that bad because these guys got mauled to death by a fucking no, pride of lions. Great. It makes me it's feel great. good. It's, yeah, but it's the, a, the numbers are skewed. There's a lot what, more rhinos dying than poachers dying. 